New today, black-owned businesses are getting some help. The PepsiCo Foundation is fund spending millions to help locally owned restaurants. NBC Local 33's Rachel Riley explains how the capital city is getting in on the funding. Barely making it. That's how many minority-owned businesses would describe this past year with the pandemic. Starting with the shutdown, there were no opportunities to really do catering events because people weren't having events. According to UC Santa Cruz, more than 40% of black owned businesses closed permanently during the pandemic. Compare that to 17% of white owned businesses. Just in general, we have less collateral. Um, in general, we, we are housed in lower economic neighborhoods. With these restaurants also missing out on paycheck protection loans because of the program's design. All PPP said is if you were a business with 500 employees or less, you could participate. The program should have been targeted to businesses uh, or they should have been a piece of the program, a component of the program for businesses with less than five employees. That's why PepsiCo and Urban League are extending a helping hand through the Black Business Accelerator Program. Baton Rouge restaurant Odom's Kitchen is a recipient of this initiative and they're hoping it takes their business and their delicious food to another level. We hope to be able to expand we want to be able to offer more services. Um, we want to all be able to be that one-stop shop. It's definitely been a blessing, um, you know, just to see the customer smile on their face. The $10 million grant benefiting the entire community. When you do this, you're investing in jobs, you're investing in economic activity. It's teaching not just our generation, but even our youth to come back and be business owners. Rachel Riley, NBC Local 33 News. The Black Business Accelerator program is also available to aspiring restaurant owners.